Side Order's color chips are all categorized in-game based on general abilities. The game does pretty good at sorting them, but the specifics aren't really fully explained. In short, most chips affect different kinds of damage. These types of damages are reflected in different modes of attack from both the player and Pearl Drone. These categories are Main Damage, Sub and Special Damage, Splash Damage, Rush Damage, Soundwave Damage, and Poison Ink Damage. In this video, I'll go over what each type applies to, and what chips affect them. Main damage is mostly just main weapon fire, but some methods of fire or weapon features are not included. It includes splattershot and octashot fire, dually fire, brella fire, roller flicks, charger fire, stringer directs, not the explosive pellets, splat tauna slashes, not the lunge attack, slosher slashes, blaster directs, not the explosion, brush swings, and splatling fire. Chips that affect main damage are Ink damage, main damage close, and main damage distant. Sub and special damage is grouped together since the only chip that affects them affects both. This only applies to specific special weapon and one sub weapon. It includes Sprinkler, yes that's the only sub weapon, Ink Storm, Tri Zuka Directs, not the explosion, Crab Tank Rapid Fire and Glob Direct, not the Glob Explosion, Pearl Drone Sprinkler, and the ink from the turbine tower's propellers. Chips that affect sub and special damage are Ink Damage, that's all. Splash damage is damage done by explosions. So many things count as explosions in side order. These include Stringer's explosive pellets, not directs, Blaster explosions, not directs, Splat bombs, Pearl drone splat bombs, Burst bomb splash, not directs, Curling bomb explosions, not the sliding, Ink mines, Pearl drones ink mines, Fizzy bombs, and Lucky bombs. Those are the main weapons and bombs affected. As for everything else, it includes Reef Slider Explosion, Not Slide, Tri Zuka Splash, Not Directs, Ink Strike, Pearl Drones Ink Strike, Crab Tank Glob Splash, Not Directs, Ultra Stamp Throw Splash, Not Directs, Booyah Bomb, Splash Down, Portal Explosion, Springing Jump Pads, Spawning Death Explosions, Spewing Bombs. Splash Damage is affected by the Splash Damage Chip. Rush damage is damage done with movement-based attacks. Some of these are obvious, while some are not. It includes Brella Shield, Attached and Launched, Roller Roll, Brush Roll, Splat Tauna Lunge with the Chip, Dooley's Dodge Roll with the Chip, Curling Bomb Slide, Not Explosion, Burst Bomb Direct, Not Explosion, Pearl Drones Burst Bomb Direct, Not Explosion, Splash Wall, For some reason, Reef Slider Slide, Not Explosion, Crack In, Crab Tank's Ball Form, Ultra Stamp Rush and Ultra Stamp Throw Directs, not the Splash, Infinity Balls, and Whirling Tops. Rush Damage is affected by the Rush Damage Chip. Soundwave Damage is damage done by Pearl Drone in specific special weapons. Not many things count as Soundwave Damage. It includes Wave Breaker, Killer Whale, Pearl Drone's Killer Whale, the sound wave from passing a Turbine Tower Checkpoint and Pearl Drone Step Off Song. Soundwave Damage is affected by the Soundwave Damage Chip. Poison Ink Damage is the damage done to enemies in your ink. I'll list the enemies it doesn't apply to, since it applies to most. Poison Ink doesn't affect Swarming Longandos, since they produce their own ink, and Drizzling Caprixiosis, since they fly above your ink. It should also be noted that the Poison Ink Damage done to the towering Nobelmedi doesn't scale with chips and that Poison Ink can't kill panicking Alamambos or Portals, and can only damage them. Poison Ink Damage is affected by the Poison Ink Damage Chip. 